I bought some air tickets between US and Europe uh, for travel in August. And due to pandemic, one of the legs of my flight was canceled. I have been trying to cancel my booking and get a refund, but ASAP tickets has been totally irresponsive. First of February, I bought two tickets uh, for round trip, two tickets from San Francisco to Stockholm, uh, starting on 12th of August. Uh, there were two passengers, me and my friend, and uh, <clears throat> I got an email, of course, in confirming my purchase and the amount I paid. Um, then on 8th of March, uh, they sent me a request to confirm the schedule change. But by that time, the pandemic has already started. And uh, I thought it's not necessary because I'm not going. And uh, I would be requesting for a refund. So I didn't take any action. On 515, which is like March, May, May 15th, I contacted ACB uh, tickets for the first time. The, the, the name of the person is Blunt C. Uh, and he assumed responsibility for all, all the refund, uh, cancellation and refund activity. He introduced himself. Uh, so that was on 15th of May. Then on 20th, and then he says, call me back in one week. So one week later on 22nd of May, I call him back again. He says, nothing doing. Call, call us around middle of July because your flight is on 12th of uh, August. So um, I said, okay, fine. And then on middle of July, as ASCP tickets wanted, I called them again. And uh, Blancy said that he will be back, uh, get back with me in three, four days. And he will be talking to the ticketing agency and will try to waive any penalty. There was no follow-up. And then on... Uh, Meanwhile, on 4th of July, they sent me a second request uh, for a schedule change. But by that time, I'm already talking to them about ticket cancellation and refund. So I did not do anything with this schedule change request. On 15th of July, they sent me a third request for schedule change. And we are way into this conversation uh, about uh, ticket cancellation and refund. And they're sending me a third request for schedule change. On 20th of July, uh, which is like 22 days before the flight, I contact SAS, the involved airlines, and I ask them, what about my reservation? And what about the ticketing? And SAS confirms to me, no, one of your legs, which is between Chicago and uh, Stockholm, has been canceled. Plus, the Americans are not allowed to travel to European EU countries. So, I mean, there's no chance that I would go there because one of the legs is canceled. And then I tell him that how the booking can be canceled. He says, SAS says you have to go through your ticketing agency, which is ASCP tickets. But they make a note uh, in their booking which uh, says that um, this ticket is fully uh, refundable. And then they open an SSR line, and I don't know what that is. So <clears throat> on uh, 5th, of, 5th of August, right, uh, I, I, send, uh, I, I send a formal email to ASAP tickets with details of my bookings and request to him to cancel and refund my bookings. And I mentioned that one leg of the, you know, four segments have been canceled. Um, and I get no response from them. And then on 5th of August, on the same day, I log my first complaint to pissedcustomers.com, which you know, uh, what is the reference number? And uh, it is 210162. Uh, on two days later, on 7th of August, SAP tickets sent me an email stating, my request is in progress and one of our representatives uh, 
will contact you, you know, will we'll contact you soon. Now, <clears throat> 10 days after that, after the cancer flight of 8-12, which August 12, uh, you know, on 17th of August, they're asking me for another schedule change. This is the fourth schedule change request. And I'm kind of at a loss because if the booking has been canceled, why are they sending me any request for schedule change? And then on 17th of August, I send another email to ACP tickets uh, and uh, enclosing their email saying that, hey, look, I'm still waiting to hear from you. I haven't heard from you uh, yet. And this was the email where they're saying that uh, somebody from ASAP Tickets will contact me very soon. And that is the end of the story. I don't know where to go from now. Meanwhile, I am getting all these emails for check-in to the flight and so on and so forth. And, you know, I am totally baffled. Well, you know, obviously I, I, I want a refund, preferably a full refund. But you know, somewhere in their in their booking from ASAP, they say that the booking cost is twenty nine dollars probably per ticket, and if they you know obviously keep that money and refund me the balance of nine hundred seventy nine dollars and ten cents, I, I think I'm okay. I'm asking for a refund. You know, <clears throat> I think once what I would like. ASAP to, you know, do is treat uh, their customer uh, properly. Uh, the communication, you know, between me and ASAP has been totally one-sided. Uh, the customer service representative has been totally, you know, non-responsive. Uh, I think in general, it doesn't matter where I sent my emails, ticketing agency, talk to this person, talk to another organization, they actually never, never bothered, you know, to work with me uh, throughout the process. Now, you know, the customer service is horrible. I think their policies are bad. And, uh, you know, they, if, I, if my feeling right now is this, if I go through the, this travel agency and if, there is, if I hit a snag like this pandemic and ticket cancellation, doesn't matter, ticket cancellation, flight cancellation, sorry, not ticket cancellation, flight cancellation due to pandemic or any other reason, you know, ACP tickets is, will not refund me the money or will be very reluctant to refund me the money. That's my opinion in, of my case. And I think that is the case probably for other customers as well. You know, uh, if, if things go all right, you know, um, obviously, you know, uh, the point of uh, ticket cancellation and refund does not arise. Uh, when I was booking the ticket, I did not know the pandemic would happen. And I think nobody knew. But if the airline has canceled the flight, SAP should refund the ticket without any question, period. So I would be careful about booking any ticket through a travel agency at this point and probably would rather book a ticket through the airline directly because I have had other flights canceled due to this pandemic and all my ticket tickets have been refunded, including Lufthansa, including Air France. I've got two refunds, full refund, not a problem. I've got refunds from ferry line in, in Sweden. I mean, all these companies through which I booked my tickets, they have already fully refunded me the money, including hotels.com. But this is the only one, only one. So I'm kind of very disappointed with ASAP tickets. And I think it's because I went through a travel agency. Mm -hmm.